This tutorial video will show you the pre-processing and reconstruction steps for diffusion MRI data. The process includes downloading files from XNet, reading sorting DICOM, and correcting the eddy current and susceptibility artifacts before reconstruction. First you need to make sure to have updated DSi Studio. The minimum required version is the Chen release from 2021. Start DSi Studio and go to the Batch Processing tab. This tab includes functions for window-based batch processing. All of them are available in the command line. But for most of the time, you don't really need to write a script to process a large amount of subject data. Now let's start by downloading data from XNet. Click on step B0 to bring up the interface. Here you need to enter the server location and your username and password. Click on the connect button to get a list of downloadable scans. In the list, select the scan and click the download button to initiate the download process. You can change the download directory or separate each scan based on their label or ID. The DICOM data from XNet or the scanners may be placed all together or separated in folders. We can use step B1 to sort all the files according to scan date and sequences. Even if there are multiple scans from different subjects, DSi Studio can sort and separate them automatically. After sorting, the DICOM files will be placed into new folders according to the date, demographics, and subject ID. Inside each scan folder, there are subfolders for each scan sequence storing the DICOM files. Next, we will convert DICOM files to Nifty or SRC files. Click on step B2 and select the scan folder to convert them. You can even select the root folder to convert all of them at once. DSi Studio will start the conversion process and place Nifty and SRC files under the scan folder. The T1 T2 images will be converted to Nifty, while the diffusion MRI data, including the raw signals and B table will be grouped as a single SRC file. Please note that you also need to identify where the reversed phase encoding sequence is. The example here has 2B0 images in Nifty format, but it can also be an SRC file containing non-B0 images. To make sure which one to use, switch to the Tools tab and use the O4 Image Viewer to open each of them. To identify the polarity of the phase encoding direction, adjust the contrast and move the slice position to the inferior temporal lobe. The susceptibility artifact around the ear canal can be seen here as a hollow region with a nearby high-intensity line. The line is located at the posterior side of the brain and thus indicates the phase encoding direction is anterior to posterior. We will then check the original diffusion acquisition and see if the polarity is in the opposite direction. However, as shown here, the phase encoding is also anterior to posterior. Therefore, the first nifty file we opened is not the one we should use for correction. Now let's check the second nifty file. The polarity of the second nifty file is posterior to anterior. It is in the opposite direction. And thus this file is the one we will use to correct the susceptibility artifact. With those files identified, we can then process the SRC file using step T2 reconstruction at the first tab. If there are multiple scan data, step B3 in the batch processing tab provides the same function for processing all SRC files inside a folder. After loading the SRC file, DSi Studio will show the reconstruction window. The top-up and eddy correction routines are located at the top menu named Corrections. Trigger the function and select the nifty file with reversed phase encoding. The correction will take around one hour or more. After correction, you may check the mask coverage to make sure all brain regions are included. The mask is only used to ignore background regions. If you can't get a good mask, just click on the threshold button and enter zero to include the entire image volume. Next, confirm the reconstruction method. DTI and GQI will reconstruct data in the subject space, whereas QSDR will reconstruct data in the template space. All three methods will generate DTI metrics. Therefore, selecting GQI or QSDR also includes DTI analysis. Once ready, click on the Run Reconstruction. DSi Studio will process the data and create a FIB file for fiber tracking. This concludes the pre-processing and reconstruction steps for diffusion MRI analysis. Thank you for watching, and you may check out other videos in this channel for further analysis.